Ah, YouTube, the great time waster. Well, up until now, viewing YouTube has been easiest on, say, a laptop or on a phone or on a tablet. And you've probably asked yourself this question at least one time before. How do I get this content onto here? Well, Google has come up with a way to do so, and not only is it affordable, it's easy, and yes, it is a lot of fun. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Chromecast. Okay, so this is the Chromecast. It's just a little module or dongle, as is the technical term. Not a whole lot to say here. You have the Chrome icon at the front, nothing on the back here. Uh, obviously, it connects to your HDMI port in your TV, so there it is. And opposite that is a micro USB port made for routing power to it. The only thing other than that, as you can kind of see here, is a little button that you can hold if you want to reset the Chromecast to its factory settings. That's useful if you need to connect it to a different Wi-Fi network or if it just sort of messes up on you, you need it to reset. So we're gonna go through a setup and get this thing connected to my TV here at my desk. Like I said before, the Chromecast does require power. Uh, so you have either the USB available, if you happen to have a USB port on your TV, or you can use the included AC adapter if uh, you don't have a USB port on your TV. Luckily mine does, the one that's here at my desk. All right. And then into the USB. All right. And it will direct you to downloading a program onto your computer, which I already have, so let's just open that up. And from here, it'll automatically start searching for your Chromecast dongle that should be powered on in your TV. And there it is. You just say, that's my code. And then you enter in your Wi-Fi credentials. And there you go, it's all set up. All right, so I've come over to my bigger TV over in my living room in order to show off just a couple extra things. But first, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do the setup for the Chromecast from the Android phone if you don't happen to have a laptop nearby. When you're setting up your Chromecast using your phone or tablet running Android, it's pretty much the same procedure and is just about as easy. There you go, it shows up right there and we're going to set it up. The code shows up on the TV and it should show up here for me to verify. That would be the one. And there you go, very easy. I have the YouTube app already open to some just kidding news. So we're just gonna select one. Okay, so we're starting with some just kidding news. I'll just click on this. It should be able to detect the different kinds of Chromecasts that you have on your network. In my case, I just have the one right here since I only have one Chromecast. So we'll just select that. It will head over to the Chromecast, tell it to connect with YouTube and begin playing my video. The cool thing about the YouTube app is that you can go through your YouTube subscriptions or any other channels, any other videos, and just keep adding them to a queue that is found on the bottom right here. If I look at the queue, I only have one item, so let's add a few to those. Just take that, you'll see add to TV queue right there. So we add that, add that to the queue. And at any point when you're looking at the queue, you could just select one of the videos and it will begin to play that video instead. At any point that you want to stop Chromecasting, just select that cast button at the top again and select your phone. It'll just bring the video back to your phone. And there you go. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's start watching some Netflix episodes of TV. All right, here's Netflix right here. All right, so we have some CSI Miami playing right here. And of course, you have the full screen here if you're watching on your phone, but the cast button is right next to it. Click on that. It's either this device or my Chromecast. Click on that and this becomes a remote control for the actual video that will be playing on the TV. 
And of course you can send music to your TV as well if you have Google Play Music or you use Pandora. A cast button will be available on there as well and you can send music straight to your Chromecast connected to your television and use that as a nice music player. But there's something else that you should see. Looks like oxidation. It's called patina. It's the natural reaction of copper jacketed bullets when they're exposed to water. The gun was wet when we took it out of the pool filter. However, there is one more feature available to the Chromecast, and that is the ability to broadcast a tab from your Chrome browser. That's possible by installing a plugin. Now, anything inside of this tab that you choose to broadcast will be put onto your television. So kind of think outside the box a little bit and realize what kind of things you might be able to broadcast using this feature. We're going to get a little bit more in depth on this in a tips and tricks video that I'm going to be releasing very soon. And so, there you have it, the Chromecast. Is it revolutionary? Well, in reality, not really. That's because a lot of people are going to argue that this technology has been around for a little while. If you own a smart TV or a Google TV for that matter, then you've already been enjoying these features for a while now on your televisions. But you have to be very aware of what kind of setup you have at home before you purchase the Chromecast. See, in my case, this DLP TV is almost a decade old, so it does take one HDMI input, but there's no way of getting the audio from there over to my 5.1 speakers. So when I'm using the Chromecast, I'm hearing it through the built-in speakers on this actual TV, and that's kind of a bummer. Uh, there is a way of making it happen using an extra piece of equipment that I have to buy, but then that just means that $35 for the Chromecast will not be my total cost. So you kind of have to make sure of what kind of setup you have and that that one HDMI port will still be okay to get to your full sound system. But for a $35 piece of technology, you can turn your television into a smart TV. And that's honestly really cool. Enjoying Netflix and YouTube on your television in such an easy way with stuff that you probably already own, like your Android phones or tablets, really makes this the easiest way of getting your content from the internet onto a TV. So as always, stay tuned to Android Authority for all the best coverage. Don't forget to drop us a like down below and to subscribe. And when you're done with all of that, head on over to androidauthority.com because we're your source for all things Android.